The Room Monitoring System, an IoT device by Zinshi, Abraham, Edgar, and Armani. About the project, the RMS is designed as a system of individual devices that record and process information from specific parts of a room. This information can include the cleanliness of the floor, the amount of trash in a bin, the water on a surface, and record other variables such as certain items in stock, temperature, and humidity of a room. The target market for this product is hotels who want to make their cleaning staff more efficient by giving them information via a mobile app about what needs to be cleaned in a room and supplies that they need to bring in order to save time. These are our project modules. We can see here that the room monitoring system is a completely integrated system. The sensors send their data to their dedicated microcontroller. These individual microcontrollers then send their data to a central microcontroller, which in turn uploads the data to the cloud. The data is stored and processed on the cloud. Finally, customers will use our mobile app, which connects to the cloud, and allows them to view all of the information collected on the room. And here are some of the sensors that we have used for this project. Following this, I'll be showing two sensors that we have used in this project. One of them is a raindrop sensor, and here is a Fritzstein schematic of the sensor that we have used. Here is a video where I show part of the code. And here is a quick demo. I'd like to pause here and say that the LED will turn on when the water hits the capacitive plate. As you see, once the water hits the capacitor plate and penetrates, the LED turns on. Next is the IR obstacle. Here's a Fritzing schematic. And here is the code that we have used right here. And here will be a quick demo. Zanji will now demonstrate the sensor that he has been working on. Demo video for the full sensor. So first, the device will take 10 seconds to set up once it finishes the setup process. The blue, this should turn on, right now just the white one is on. Okay, so you, if we have a one, one person coming alone, so yeah, as you can see, the blue did blinks. And then from the UART output terminal, we saw that we have a total of one person alone. If another another guy gets in, the blue blinks again, and then now we got total of two people in the room. And if a if a person wants to leave the room, you, the red LEDs turns on, and then back to blue one. Now we have only one person left. So now that we have seen various sensors collecting data, where does the data go? The answer is the cloud. Here we can see Google Cloud Platform. The cloud offers various services. The main one that we will be using is called Google IoT Core, and that is under the Big Data section. So if we go into here, we can see that I've created a registry called Hotel Room. The protocol that it uses is MQTT, which is the industry standard for IoT device messaging. And IoT Core, does various things, the main ones including the storage of the data that it receives from the IoT devices and communication with the devices. And that is two-way communication, so retrieving data and also sending data. And after we create the registry, we can go into the, the devices. And here we can see that I have created various devices, including the ones that we have shown the demonstrations of. And there are also various other services that the cloud offers, including storage, where you can create a bucket to store various other extraneous information. And you can even create virtual machines to process that information. Now that we have discussed the generation, transmission, storing, and processing of the data, how do we view the data that we have collected? Well, we can of course use a mobile phone app. So here I have the code and the simulator already running. And this is the interface that I have built. Of course, this is just one example scenario of what the sensors have detected. 
we can see a progress meter at the top telling us we are about halfway to requiring a floor cleaning. The towels need to be replaced and the sensors have detected water on the surfaces and that the trash needs to be replaced. And in the future, we can of course use our devices to control other devices like the thermostat through our app. Thank you for taking your time to listen to what we have to share.